What's going on, YouTube? Uh, this is Gray Hatter here. Um, I want to make a uh, just a quick video, kind of some under the hood things you can do with Chrome OS. Um, those of you who may be Chromebook users or you think about buying one, um, some of the kind of fun stuff you can do um, with what's called the Crosh shell, which um, sounds like a bad word, but anyway. <laughs> Um, that sounds bad. Anyway, it's, uh, for those of you who are familiar with the command line in windows, it's, it's at least similar visually, um, to the command line. And like I said, it gives you access to, uh, kind of like using Chrome flags. It gives you some access to some sort of under the hood things that you can do. Um, I'm just going to highlight three, three commands in particular. Um, there's, I don't even know how many there are. There's dozens of them out there. Um, but, uh, I mean, you, you type in help. Actually, I'll just show you. Type in help. Yeah, that'll show you a few. Help. Advanced. And that'll show you a whole bunch more. But again, I'm just going to highlight three. Um, in particular, actually, one of them is on this list. And um, that's going to be the rollback option. Somewhere around here. And uh, so, yeah, you know, okay, that one, you just type in rollback. That one's easy. It's one word. Um, I'm not going to, I'm going to type it in, but I'm not going to actually hit enter because then, uh, so what rollback does is rollback will literally just roll back your, your operating system version to the previous version, or at least it will attempt to, if it has a copy of the previous version saved in cache, if not, then you can't, but um, if able it will it will move you back so say i'm on chrome 76 right now i typed in rollback it would move me back to 75. and the reason why you might want to do that is if you encounter an issue so sometimes they'll come out with some pretty bum updates on on chrome os it's happened uh luckily not very many times but it does happen where they just come out with an update and it absolutely sucks so um i had to do this recently actually on uh, not this uh my pixel book that i'm using right now but on uh on this guy here which is my my other Chromebook, HP, something or another. Um, on that one, I had to uh, roll that one back and uh, to, because they came out with an update, caused all the Android apps to stop working. Anyway, um, now this will power wash your device. Be warned. It nukes everything. So you got to back up stuff um, before you do this, which is why I'm not going to hit the enter button right now because I, I don't want to do that. <laughs> But you type in rollback, you hit enter, um, and power washes device, rolls the version back. Now, the, the kind of weird thing about that is, so it will roll the version back, but then when you boot your device back up, it will then, because it's Chrome, automatically download an update. So only works until the next time you restart your device, because then it's going to go back to, again, if you're on 76, you roll it back to 75, you boot it up, you connect it to Wi-Fi, it's going to download 76 again. And as soon as the next time you reboot, you're going to actually be back on 76. But the nice thing is, is it buys you some time. So if they come out with a really bad update, maybe you can just avoid restarting your Chromebook for like a week or something because it's a pretty stable operating system. Just avoid restarting it for like a week. And then hopefully in that week, they'll have fixed the bug in their update. Hopefully. The other, uh, another command I want to show you here. Wi-Fi power save. So what this is, is name says it all, Wi-Fi power save. Now by default that is enabled and um, there's actually no way, at least that I'm aware of, to change that default. So every time you boot your device, it will revert it to turning that Wi-Fi power save on, which is actually pretty useful because it does save battery, and in most case, in most scenarios, you're probably not going to need it. Um, scenarios where you might want to turn the the Wi-Fi power save off is if you're a little, if you're kind of located a little ways from the, the router, you're not getting a very good signal, and or your speed is not very good. Um, what it can help with, it doesn't always, but uh, you know, because if the Wi-Fi connection is just slow, then it's going to be slow no matter what you do. But what you can do to try to eke a little more speed out of your Wi-Fi connection is to go ahead and disable that. So all you do with that, Wi-Fi power underscore save, disable, bam, off. That will that will remain off 
like I said, until the next time you restart device. So you restart your device, it will turn it back on. So, um, so you don't eat up your battery needlessly. Uh, the next one is a battery test. Let's just test the health of the battery. Um, uh, I guess a scenario where you might want to use that if you're buying a used Chromebook, um, you want, you're going to want to know, you know, uh, at least an approximation, kind of a ballpark of what kind of battery lifespan you have left, what, what how much you can expect out of this thing, how much mileage you can expect out of the battery of the, uh, of the Chromebook. So battery test, um, you leave that blank, it will default to 300 seconds. But since I, I don't want to take the time for that right now, I'm just going to do 10, 10 second battery test, battery health, 97.41. That's pretty good, I guess. And boom. And, uh, and that's done. Uh, you could run longer test shorter. I mean, you could do battery test 999. I don't know if there's a max time. I'm sure there is somewhere. I've not encountered it so far, but um, that's useful. Again, you want to know what kind of get an idea of what kind of lifespan you might have, how much mileage you might be able to get out of your Chromebook. If you're buying a used one, especially that's how you do it. And uh, that I would say that's it. I mean, that's not all the commands by any means, but that is the three most useful that I have found so far. There is a fourth one, but unfortunately I didn't note down what it was. I, I read a tech blog a while back and came across this really cool command that gives you all of, um, so there's an uptime command in here. If you scroll up here in the help area, there's an uptime command that tells you how long since the last reboot of the machine but then there's a like a super uptime one that will show you actually how many hours of, of use have been put on it since the you know creation of that chromebook and that is like a super useful one if you're buying a used chromebook because you can actually know exactly you know people say oh i hardly used it you type that command in it maybe tell you okay they hardly used it or hey you know somebody put a thousand hours of use on this thing very useful command. Unfortunately, I don't have that on me right now. I've read it in a tech blog and didn't write it down. But once I find that, I will just simply have to give it its own video because it is, again, a very useful command. Very good to find out some that information on that on the uh, on that Chromebook. So that's it for this one. And uh, if you have any other commands that you find really useful, feel free post them in the comments, and I'll catch you on the next video.